Everyone, take a drink. We're doing this a little untraditional backwards. So everyone, raise your glasses. Here's to Blake and Paige. Mr. and Mrs. Mara. I love you guys. I hope you still love me after this. This is all for you. Take a sippy sip. Here we go. about Paige and Blake, you know so well. It got his way back in history, the surf shot from Daddy and Mama T. Paige, don't listen. Loud and clear, a cute boy just moved over there. Blonde hair, blue eyes, about eight tall, but a pup named Buddy, the tomato fall. And over here on the very first day, Raw Daddy covers the thing out late. One drink, two drinks, now they're blitz. On the pool table, where they had their first kiss, is the E! True Hollywood story of Paige and Blake. So, how did these two meet? Paige and Blake first met while attending Martin County High School in the late 1990s, early 2000s. Paige was a cheerleader and Blake hit the waves every chance he got. Over the years, they would occasionally see each other around town or out surfing. Although Paige had a crush on him, Blake seemed shy, and they really didn't say much to each other. That wasn't going to cut it for young Paige. Blake Shelton, and why? She comes in and, and people just want to meet her and want to see her, and, when, and, and they just want her to talk to them, and I, I haven't met anybody like that before. Well, let's find out how they got to this point and where they got their start. August 26, 1982, Bob and Terry Gallagher find themselves at Martin Memorial Hospital North in Stewart, Florida to welcome their brand new baby girl, Paige Elizabeth Gallagher, into the world. One year and five months later, John Morrow was working at sea where he received a small telex saying, Baby born, 8.29 a.m., January 5th, 1984. Proud mom Joanne welcomed Blake Barrett Morrow into the world in Ocala, Florida. For parents John and Joan, it would be a life-changing event. It didn't take Blake long to make a name for himself, active in both baseball and golf. 
His main love was the ocean. I thought that you had to be a little bit older to be really smart and really talented, but uh, this, this guy's got it, and mm -hmm. uh, I think he's going to do a, a lot of work. I've known him for so many years, and he was, a much, he was in a much different mental space back then, but still lovely and great, and I've just always adored him. Page graduated from Florida Atlantic University and began working for SVI Systems Inc. as a marketing director and installation coordinator. I can't describe her. I can't because it's an energy and it's a drive she has that I, you either get behind her and get caught in the draft or you get out of her way. As for Blake, he would become a firefighter paramedic for Palm Beach County and a part-time ocean rescue lifeguard for Martin County. Jessica Simpson explains how Blake was the one that got away. We just, we split up for five months. It was that time in my life where I was extremely selfish and um, I, I hate to even like go back and, and think about it because I try to block that whole five months out of my life. So Paige and Blake haven't seen each other since high school. But Paige's mom, Terry, tells her about a cute boy who moved in behind their house. Paige ignores her for weeks, but then her mom tells her he has a cute puppy. The next time the little puppy's in the yard, Paige runs out to see the little puppy, and there stands her high school crush, Blake. Like, right as he was leaving the room, and he left, and we were like, <laughs> Blake, he's perfect. He's so charming and nice and funny, and he's a great improviser, and we just struck gold with him. Paige and Blake spent the rest of that summer surfing, diving, and taking the dogs to the beach. And on September 6th, they had their first date at Crawl Daddy's. Um, you know, we've been friends for years. We've vacationed together. I mean, I've, I've watched her dirty dancing with George Michael. You can bring that up to her. Um, and, you know, I think, uh, you know, she sort of speaks for herself. Loving to surf and travel, Blake picked their trip to Puerto Rico as the night that he proposed to Paige. Blake presented Paige with a creative photo album which he had narrated, including photos from the past four years they've been together. He stopped, got down on one knee, and turned to the last page of the album, which said, Will you marry me? Paige said yes. Bradley Cooper, on when he got the news about Paige and Blake getting engaged. And I, I mean, I could not speak. I mean, I really, and I was like, my cheeks were shaking. You know, I had that like perma smile. And I, yeah, and I said something awful like, uh, let's get her done. And now Paige and Blake are ready to catch this next wave of life together. I'm Paul Rudden, congratulations. Might I suggest uh, honeymooning on the big island in Hawaii. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. And uh, you can take helicopter tours and uh, you can swim. And there's a rich history there. I'm glad you came. The sun goes down, the stars come out. And all I comes is here and now. My universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came.